Welcome to the Interesting Podcast with Jedi Brian, number 12. This slightly longer than usual episode is uh, Brian from Bryland Imagery. We recorded this at Animate Miami, and um, it was a blast. Brian is great. I, um, I've, been a, I've been a fan of his work for quite some time. He does uh, a lot of cosplay photography in his stuff. Um, it, it's a lot of composites, so he does a lot of like backgrounds, effects. Like It looks really 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 cool and i've wanted to work with him for a very long time so he uh he contacted me about shooting one of my 501st costumes and uh the pictures i've already gotten back are phenomenal and there's there's more on the way so i'm pretty excited to see those uh but this episode was uh kind of like uh the the palm con one where we just sort of started grabbing people uh <laughs> as they were walking around the con um but Brian talks about uh, how he used to be a part of Templar Digital, if you knew him from back then, and now he's doing his own sort of thing, how he got into cosplay photography. Um, he talks about his equipment, what he shoots on. I know a lot of people, uh, including myself, who does photography of those sort of things, uh, like to know what people are shooting on and tips and tricks on how they do their compositing and stuff like that. Um, so there's that. Uh, his friend Yannick was there, who is now my friend Yannick. Um, so we talk about Star Wars. Uh, our friend Amber shows up. She had a puppy, which was adorable, which is not great podcasting, but I had a good time. Uh, and then at the very end, we get a little cameo uh, from Diego from Japan Minute, whose work is also amazing. And he's a really, really cool dude. Uh, yeah, so I hope your Thanksgiving went well. Hope you ate a lot because food is good and I care about you and stuff. But anyway, that uh, I think that'll about do it because I've uh, reached that part where I should have ended the intro a while ago, but I like to talk a lot. So that's probably why I have a podcast. Anyway, enjoy the interesting podcast with Jedi Brian, episode 12 with Brian Imagery at Anime Miami special long thing. Oh my god, I don't know why I didn't stop there. Enjoy the theme song. Technically, yes, but it'll be like a murmur. Like, Wait, are we are recording now? Yeah, we are. Oh, shit, we've been talking the whole time, yo. I know, I like it. <laughs> That's the way to do it, man. Okay, so what do we do? Introduce each other? <laughs> Sandy's like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Sandy, where are you going? You better come back. <laughs> right? Okay, so how does so, it work? <laughs> yeah, right? I know. It, it's literally just like roughly an hour. Uh -huh. Just talking about whatever you want. Okay. Right? So, yeah. obviously, introduce yourself. Well, I'm Brian from <laughs> I'm Brian, Brian Imagery. Oh, you're Brian. <laughs> and, you're hey. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Yannick with us. Hey, yep. Yannick. Hey, I'm Yannick from uh, Black Bean X. So you'll find me on Facebook and Instagram. But uh, how about this? How about we talk about some Star Wars? We can talk about Star Wars for a we while. We can definitely talk about Star Wars. Oh, did you tell them that we're at a con? Oh, yeah, we're at a con. We are. Oh, I totally just recorded Toby and forgot to say we're at a con. So what? What, what is people going to think you guys at? I don't know. <laughs> I've done I've done podcasts at a con before, and I've always been like, so I'm here at Supercon, or so I'm here at Anime. So I'm here with, I don't know, what's, whatever you we are. Is, <laughs> I probably kept saying Supercon Toby over and over and over, that I was like, oh, it's Supercon Toby. Yeah. They probably think we're at Supercon. But you did tell them we're at Anime now, right? I didn't, now we're at Anime. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, so Bryland, Bryland Photography. Used Bryland to be Imagery. Imagery, yes. sorry, whoops. Yes. <laughs> used to be Templar Digital. Yes. Oh, I, Templar Digital is still around. I just, is it still it's you? It's a group. No, I'm no longer with them. I'm now oh, on my own. Oh, okay. Yeah, Interesting. Uh, yeah, I started my own thing, and now I do Bryland Imagery, so it's me. Gotcha. It's just me. So yeah. did Templar Digital start out as just you, and you kind no, of passed no, the torch? No, my friend started it, and I joined him, and uh, I was like the photographer department area that also interviewed cosplayers at one point, but now it's- Gotcha. That's their thing, and I moved on to do my thing. 
Gotcha. Okay. Because I wondered that. When you're yeah. like, I'm Brian Land Imagery. Yeah. Almost said it again. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, Brian Land Imagery. I was like, wait, I thought he was Temple Digital. Wait, his name's Brian. I'm going to call him Brian because my <laughs> name's Brian. <laughs> Brian with a Y or Brian with an I? I. The correct spelling. I see. We had good parents. Uh, whew, uh, for real. <laughs> uh, Somebody yeah. goes with a vowel so sometimes. What Yannick suggested, Star Wars. Yannick. Yes. Yes. Yannick? Yannick. Yannick. Hey, oh, but what's that guy? What, what did um, what did Camila call you on on Xbox when we were playing Destiny? Oh no! What's your name? Oh no! Instead of saying Yannick, he just decided to call me Yannick, as as if there was a mysterious W that my parents did not like. They placed there. Yeah. But it's not seen by me, but it all can be seen but everyone else. So Yon or just Yannick? It is Yannick. It's Yannick. Yes. What, where, what kind of? It's um, it's it's, fr it's French, and I l literally um, it took me a while to figure out where what where it came from, and it was literally from Jean-Nic Noah, like the famous tennis player. As oh, if I play okay. tennis at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know what's funny though? It it it's no, that's his dad, Yannick Noah. It <laughs> Jean-Nic Noah is the father of Joe Kim Noah from the Chicago Bulls. Ah, uh, you see, I didn't know that until I figured it so out. So you were though. named after him. I was named after him because it, it was just a unique name, and well, think it's about cool. it. At any attendance list that I'm a part of, I already know I'm at the bottom. Right. <laughs> but That's fair. That's fair. but honestly, um, like I said before, Star Wars. I'm super hyped. The Same. second I saw Finn with his lightsaber, Whoa. that was that was it. Can't wait. It was it was kind of weird not seeing a dark like a you know an, an African American not have the purple one, but I guess they want to respect Mace Windu. Because right. that was Mace Windu, or but it's it's not really his lightsaber. That's the thing. Ah, that's true. It's Luke's. They have they have this theory that could have been Luke's that got uh, when he lost his hand to Vader. That was a lightsaber. Yep. Empire. A I random stormtrooper just picked it up and just decided to throw it in the trash and landed on ta uh, Tatooine. <laughs> hey, we have someone special here. Say hi, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Megan I Coffee Starbucks. She'll have her own episode for Shell. Right. We'll talk about axolotls and stuff. Have fun. She's shopping. Have fun, Megan. So, so Brian. Yes. How long have you been doing photography? Almost three years now. Yeah? What got you into it? When I was with Templar Digital, I started with um, cosplay interviews, where I just interview cosplayers for the website. And, you know, huh. I want to do more to support the cosplay community. And, really? You know, I can't cosplay for shit, so <laughs> I thought... I disagree. Your Ghostbuster is amazing. Thank you. Oh, you didn't, you didn't see my Destiny one. Or have you seen pictures I've of it? I've seen pictures of it, the yellow with the yeah. helmet. Yeah, Beautiful. I didn't make the costume, but my friend made Doesn't the armor. Uh, BMP Beautiful. Props made it, and what? he made it within like two weeks for me. Dude. Yeah, he made it within two weeks. It looked amazing, and I love it. Perfect, yeah. yeah. You look perfect. Yeah, and my next one I'm planning is the Colonial Marines what? from Aliens. That's my next one I'm going to do. Dude. Yeah. And you say you can't cosplay. Well, <laughs> let's immediately derail Back that one. Back then, you know, because <laughs> I, I know. But okay. I mean, it's hard. Balancing both. You know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're either in costume or you're taking the pictures. Yes. Because well, at DragonCon, I was like taking off my armor just to do shoots because, you know, I want to shoot. Right. But I also want to cosplay. I mean, but, you know, I got to balance. But sure. in the end, cost photography sure. is the main one. But how I got started is when I was doing the interviews, I talked, and then I want to support. So sure. I started doing photography. So I got a camera, you know. And believe me or not, yes, I sucked. It sucked. My right. photos that I first started sucked. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about lights. I don't know nothing about f-stop or shutter speed. Sure. Yeah, you know, I'm the di I'm like the dumbass. that's like, oh, I'm gonna take pictures because I'm right. a <laughs> and I'm gonna be professional. No, but now, you no. Know, since then, I asked other photographers. I learned from other. I learned from them. You know, learned from YouTube definitely. Absolutely. And, and Google, and from there, you know. There's no way to do it but up, right? You just get better, try to get right. learned. I mean, I, to me, in my mind, I think most of my photos are okay. I, right. I see other photographers' photos, and I was like, damn, I wish I could be good as that. And, right. you know, from there, just keep practicing and getting better. You're on the way. That's uh, the only difference, experience, yeah, man. Yeah, like, well, especially with composites. I mean, right. that's what everyone said. I'm, I guess I'm mainly known for now. Yeah, I, I'd say, like, you're, you're the other David Love. <laughs> yeah, I, I do, don't get me wrong. I love David Love's work. He's like, crazy. He's amazing. I yeah, mean, yeah. He's giving me some tips along the way. That oh, helps. really? Yeah, he helped me a lot on how to like um, filter the hair, so it's really? easier. Because, and yeah, and from there he just helped me, and he gives me tips when I ask when I need help. That's but, awesome. Yeah, like 
but he's really good. I love his work. Oh yeah. Yeah. His yeah. I've always I've always looked at your stuff and I was like, it's the other David Love. It's so good because <laughs> it's a lot of composite stuff. It's a lot of effects, and like specifically your uh, the Destiny one you did with mm -hmm. Sandy. It looks like a movie poster. Like I would never have known you took those pictures and put them together. Which is funny. All those shots in that Destiny poster were all shot at a convention. That is insane. All shot at a convention. And when I first started it, I started off one way. And I'm working on it. I'm looking at it. Because in my mind, like, when I started, I put all the pictures on the, on the, on the Photoshop. I look at them. I place them where I think I want to place them in my mind while I'm looking okay. at them. And it's the rare photo itself each on each side. And I'm looking at it. And I start working on it. But along the way, I don't like the way it looks at one point. So then <laughs> it starts changing or evolving when I start changing it. And I'm looking at it more. And I start adding more stuff. And the more add, the more stuff I add, and then in the end, no matter what, like halfway through, it's gonna look like a pile of mess. It's gonna look like sure, uh, yeah. So then I'm like, I have to think about it. How's it gonna look? Cause then, but also that's what I also do when I like um, go on Google or go to movie theater. I look at movie posters. Or oh, yeah, back yeah. when there was a blockbuster, you know, you like oh, look at um, rest in peace. Yeah, no, right. I, I used to work at blockbuster too. Did you, did you like blockbuster? I loved working at Blockbuster. Okay, I love Blockbuster. I, I feel like I was the only person in the world that like was affected by them going out. It was the worst day of my life. Well, when Blockbuster went under, because my store I worked at was going down the shitter. Yeah. That you could tell the ship, the ship was sinking. All right. So I said I gotta look elsewhere. So I went to, um, I applied at Disney World. Sweet. And then I ended up working there, but I was living down here in Miami. So when I got wow. the, it was funny too because when I went for the interview for, for Disney, I did the interview. And I sat down, we did the interview, and he goes, oh, cool. Um, your orientation starts next week. And I was like, um, I still live in Miami. <laughs> He's like, I don't have a place to live. I don't. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, no. Yeah. So <laughs> within a week, I had to find a place to, <laughs> find a place to live, you right. know, get settled. And then the day of my orientation, the day before, I, um, I just moved in to my, my, my first apartment when I was living up there. Yeah? Yeah. And then, Man, how and, was that? Is that scary? Oh, which was funny because uh, I got out of Craigslist, right? Never again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was cool at first. The first month was great, but then you know, out of the boo, uh, out of the boo, out of the blue, mm. by luck, I happened to be off that day, and some guy just opens the door, comes in the, the thing. Cause I, I, I was renting a room from somebody. Okay. And the, the guy goes, I, I go, I, he goes, anybody home? And I look at him. I, I, I pick my head out the door. And I go, I go, what's up? He goes, hey, um, I, I'm here for the bank. I'm here to change the locks and the door because the landlord hasn't paid the, oh, the, no. the rent. And I was like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that that doesn't mind, sound I, real. I just paid this asshole, too. <laughs> 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 so, like, I'm calling my landlord up because, uh, you know, he lives with me, too, obviously, because that's his, apart his, his apartment. Sure. And I was like, yo, you need to get the fuck over here because some guy here is here to change the locks <laughs> of the door because he said you haven't paid the rent. Like what the fuck? Oh no! Yeah, next thing you know it, I'm I'm staying at a <laughs> I'm staying at a Super Eight for like a week, looking for another place to live. Oh my god! So within, within a month of living in Orlando already, I'm already moving in another place already. <laughs> <laughs> so you you go there to work on the happiest place on earth and have the worst experience in the home. <laughs> I know, right? Well, but like, yeah, but you know, um, Disney had its moments working there. I, yeah? I loved it. I have a lot of stories. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, we're gonna get into it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of crazy shit happened there, man. Like, yeah? The yeah, Disney, yeah. The underbelly of Disney? Stuff gets crazy? The, the dark side of Disney? Yeah, right? Yeah. Those I princesses are not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was fun working there, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, people working, like, people you work with is, is what makes it. Sure, I mean, yeah, yeah. No matter what. What did you I do mean, there? Security. Sweet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the downside about working at Disney World is, man, when that place is open 365 days a year, you're working almost every fucking day. I hear you. You barely get a day off. I mean, you work 16 hours a day if you get uh, extended Ooh. or if you need to, if you need the money. Right. Yeah. And the other thing I liked about it too is um, you get paid every Thursday. What? Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. It's weekly. It's weekly pay. And they tell you the first thing in orientation too is um, it's like, just remember when you're getting paid, think about Epcot. I'm like, why? Epcot, E-P-C-O-T is... Every paycheck comes on Thursday, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, wow! Right. Yeah. I love Epcot." <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was it was cool, man. It was, it was a good four years. I mean, but when I got let go from the company, I can't talk about that. But, oh, of know, course, yeah, yeah. And 
four years is a long time to have a job in the yeah. same place. Yeah. Well, the thing is, too, like, I got so much experience from there. And, sure. And the stories and the experience was great. Absolutely. Yeah. So what's the story you can tell? Uh, Give us a crazy Disney story. You don't have to use names. Well, <laughs> I mean, just obviously stupid ones. Like when you get like a guest complaining, right? Right. Uh, I got a guest complaining in front of the hub, which, which is that little circle area where the statue is in front of the castle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> I'm just thinking about laughing right now. <laughs> um, they call us, they're calling us, they call security to go meet with a guest complaining, wants to make a complaint. Okay. So I get over to the castle, right? And I go, I see, I meet the woman. And I go, ma'am, is everything okay? And she goes, she goes, I need to file a complaint. I'm very upset. And I go, why? And she's like raging pissed. Right. And I go, what's wrong? And she goes, I drove all the way over here to go to Disney World. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, no. Uh. oh no. And then she goes, but this place says Magic Kingdom. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> and I was like, man, when you drove in, you didn't see the size that says Walt Disney World? <laughs> oh, <in>. my God. <laughs> or like, did the castle give it away or Mickey Mouse? I don't know. He says a big advertiser. I'm sorry. My friend just gave me a phone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that oh the score of the God. dolphin game? Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. No, this just in. <laughs> Dolphins <laughs> won. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dolphins win. It's sports ball. <laughs> oh, and another one is um, like people, cause like, a lot of people that don't live in Florida or are, are not like Disney fanatics. Right. They, they come to Disney because, you know, w when you think of Disney, what's the first thing you think about? The castle. Right. They don't think about the ball. They don't think about the tree in Adam in uh, Adam King, or they don't think about the hat. Rest in peace. The hat's gone. Right. <laughs> but because you know, but that's also Disney. But people think about the castle. Right. So when someone's at Epcot or Studios or Animal Kingdom, they don't think they're Disney. They're like, "This ain't Magic Kingdom. This ain't Disney World." Like, right. I'm so confused. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they freak out. Oh, and then like, it's also when like, when when. You miss your kid. You like you lose your kid. Right. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm not thinking bad about Disney about this. <laughs> your kid's not lost. Okay. Kids who get lost, they're just wandering around, or they want to see something. Because especially like lights will attract a kid, or a ride, or beautiful colors. The kids or gonna sound, walk away. Yeah. 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 Um, or if the kid wants something but you say no. The kid's gonna fucking rebel and go fuck you then. <laughs> walk away. I'm gonna get it anyway. Yeah, the most of kids was like uh, the average a kid would be gone would be like 15 minutes or five minutes. Literally, the kids like if we find like because Disney will do whatever they can to find your kid no matter what. Right. We'll, we'll find your kid because your if the kids if it's if we can't find the kid within like an hour it's because your kid does not want to be found. Your kid's <laughs> making sure your kid is gone. Yeah. <laughs> like like the, we found a kid once. The kid. Wait, the first thing you ask the person, too, is, like, how old is the kid? It's like, oh, he's, like, 11 or 12. I'm like, does the kid know how to use? The kid the kid knows. Does, it, does the kid know how to use the bus, the bus route? Because, you know, they have buses. Sure. They take it to the hotel. Just, no, he's not that smart. He, he could never do that. Oh, no. We go check the room where they're staying in the hotel. The kid's fucking watching TV. I was like, dude, so your kid's smart. He's he like, left Disney he to like, go watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> he, went, he went back to his hotel to watch TV because, you know, he didn't get what he wanted. You know, <laughs> shit. It's crazy. Oh, and another one. Yeah, lay them on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a custodial one I heard from somebody. Uh oh. Um, you know how ki like little kids like shart? Yes. <laughs> right? Like that's a perfect beginning oh, to a story. <laughs> like a kid was shart in a, in a ride, right? Well, in the line, but you know they put their hand in their ass to make sure they don't they, they oh, no. actually shart themselves. So they check and they realize they did. <laughs> and you have nowhere to wipe it. So they wipe it on the fucking line on the wall, oh, like no. on the queue. <laughs> so you see like a crease of shit going down the road. <laughs> that, was, that was like, that's nasty shit, bro. It's like, literally. <laughs> yeah. So now you got a shit streak going down to like Space Mountain. <laughs> but uh, 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 this, there was another uh, time when um, there's a, uh, this girl, like, we, we had this girl, like, you know there's a lake in, where downtown Disney is, or yeah, now yeah. it's Disney Springs? There's that lake that goes across from Saratoga Springs. Right. A woman was swimming in the In the, in the lake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why? <laughs> Disney was, wasn't doing it for her. <laughs> I, I know, right? She, she swam. And then w w when she got to the end finally, because she, she got really tired, but <laughs> yeah. like, like, and, 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 like she realized halfway through, she said that, oh, I realized halfway it was a bad idea. <laughs> The thing is, though, oh, the reason no. why she swam because she was going for a job interview, 
at the casting building, like near the. <laughs> so she planned. Her thought was swim through this lake, get to the other side. Because she said she'll get there faster by coming through the lake. <laughs> Show up drenched to an interview. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but she was smart. She put all her interview clothes in a plastic bag and zipped it up so it won't, it won't get wet. Okay, that's kind of genius. <laughs> she put a basic sweat. I mean, so she knew what she was doing. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, A for planning, but man, <laughs> like B for ex- like C for execution, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> No, but like I mean, I had a I had a great time working there. I mean, oh, I wow. miss it. I regret it. Yeah. I, I I regret not working there anymore. I mean, I wish I could go back, but I can't. Yeah, I hear yeah. you. Yeah, so I guess Universal's next, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. the, the not Disney. <laughs> yeah. But back to Star Wars, man. <laughs> we went on a track on that one. Speaking of Star Wars and Disney, you know they're adding like 14 acres onto yeah, the Disney section which, or the Star Wars section. Which A is great, but B it's. It's hurting the park because you destroy half the shit in the park just to make it. Like, they got rid of that cool um, Meet Hero and Baymax meetup. Yeah? Meet, meet greet. Yeah, because um, one of my friends is friends with Hero, quote unquote. Friends. Quote unquote. Yeah. yeah and Nobody's friends with Hero. Yeah, but now After he's at Magic Hero Kingdom 6, doing something else, gone. but I'm, uh, I'm happy for him. Right. But it sucks that they got rid of that because that's popular, isn't it? I loved Big Hero 6. Oh, I fucking love was, Big Hero 6. Dude, okay, so I'll go on record. I was not a fan of Frozen. Because I think Tangled's better. Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think I Tangled's better. I just, Frozen just didn't do it for me. I was like, wait, have you seen the Honest trailer for Frozen? No. It's the exact way how I feel about Frozen. It's perfect. <laughs> and uh, but when Big Hero Six came around, I came off of Frozen, so I was like, ah, eh, it's gonna be alright. And I loved that movie. I think the Disney because it was Marvel did it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's so. You know, did you see the post credit scene? Yeah, where he With finds Stan out his dad's Stan Lee and he's a superhero. So yeah. good. <laughs> it was really good. They should uh, do a sequel. Right? Yeah. They could. They, they should. Could. They, I'm still waiting on that Incredibles 2. It's coming out. Which is finally should it should they should have done that first before doing a Monsters prequel right? and a Cars 2. Or a Cars at all. Be, yeah. Okay. <laughs> cars is uh, I'll give Cars 1 a chance. Cars 2. Yeah. Mm, uh, why? Did, why? What's your favorite Disney movie? Disney movie of Disney all time? Movie. Yeah. Let's lay the <sighs> hard questions on. Well, my girlfriend's favorite Disney movie of all time is Hunchback of Notre Dame. Really? She fucking loves that movie. Really? Like, when I'm playing Destiny, she's blasting Hunchback of Notre Dame music in the back <laughs> and shit. Uh, but she loves that. Um, her favorite song is Hellfire from that movie. Oh, yeah. Um, I think mine, my favorite Disney movie, that's yeah, hard. Right? I mean, the, my, my first Disney movie I ever seen was Fox and the Hound, but it's not my oh. favorite. Oh, I can't watch I know, that right? movie. It's pure. I can't. Wa- I can't watch it. It depresses me. I cry every really? time. Foxham? Dude, when she leaves him in the forest, I cry. Yeah, but the other part I get through is like, Ugh. why can't they be friends? Exactly. Why can't they be friends? I can't. T- I can't handle that movie, and I can't handle Dumbo. Dumbo's trippy. Dumbo, when they're like picking on him, I was like, you leave him alone. <laughs> Just because he has fat ass, big ass <laughs> ears. <laughs> You're all stupid. Have you rolled the um, the Winnie the Pooh ride? Yes. Does it's it feel so like you're good. taking an acid trip? I love it. It's so good. I still, I, I still miss Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. I never got to, I never got to ride it. I know. Yeah, I must be old as shit then. If right? You remember that. Well, I, I've only been there once. Oh, really? Yeah. I've Billy, been to Universal. Really, I've been there all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Like, my favorite ride at Disney, so I'm getting off topic a little no, bit. No, you're good. Was Alien Counter when it was there. Okay. It's where Stitch, the Stitch Greatest Escape is now. What? But the original one was Alien Encounter, where, and it's horror. Like, it's scary. Like, it scared the shit out of kids. Yeah, seven kids were like, really? oh, yeah, dude, it's scary shit because it's, like, there's a scene where it's dark as fuck. Right. And a guy gets killed above you, and oh. they, they splash water in your face, but it's supposed to be, like, blood. At a Disney like park? A, oh, hell yeah, bro. <laughs> that ride should have stayed. But the ride was so scary, they had to get rid of it because the kids would be like, Traumatized, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, come on. They're like, oh, we're at Disney. We're going to ride a ride. Then they get blood splattered in yeah. their face. No, but so they make it kid friendly by adding Stitch to it. I'm like, oh, great. That's, right, yeah. yeah. It's fake blood now. It's Stitch or, involved. No, it's not even blood. He's just like, right. like licking right. your back, neck, and shit. And like that's jumping more, up and down. That's more kid friendly. Yeah, it's more kid friendly <laughs> now. But um, my favorite Disney movie. Nah, favorite I, Disney. I, I'm going back to it. Favorite Disney. It can be a tie if you have a tie. It can be a tie? Yeah. I say Aladdin's one. Okay. I think Lion King too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those are good. Those now, are good picks. Best music uh, in a Disney movie. Yeah. For some reason, I always find myself singing a whole new world in my mind. Yeah, I was gonna say Tarzan, Phil Collins, man. That's the only yeah. See, that's the one thing that makes Tarzan great. Yeah. Now my favorite's Hercules, though. 
Fucking love Hercules. That's my favorite Disney movie of all time. Go the distance by Michael Bolton. Dude, anything Hercules, I love it so much. Um, speaking of that, okay. The best, like, um, best villain, Disney death, like best villain Disney death. Okay. Did you notice, but before we give your opinion. Yeah, yeah. Did you notice every villain that dies falls to the death, if you think about it? The witch from Snow White, yeah, she falls. But the rock, you know, ends up falling on top of her. If you notice that, you're too. right. She falls. Scar. Gaston falls. Scar, Scar falls to his death, but he lives. Hyenas eat him, yeah. but technically, still fell. True, true. The dude from, um, um not Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah, fell. Um, oh. I think, I think they have a way of this. The guy from Tarzan, he fell and ended up getting hung. Yeah, but he right. Fell. That was so dark. I think I think if you if you watch it in the YouTube, that's the number one darkest death scene. Oh yeah, because you see the shadow of the you actually see him body hanging. hanging. Yeah, oh, dude, but it's awesome. That was actually the first movie I ever saw in a movie theater. It's Tarzan. What? Yep, I was six years old. Shit, I am old. <laughs> yeah. What year were you born? I'm 84, dude. I'm 31. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. No <laughs> I'm way. 31, I don't man. believe you. Yeah. You really? You want to show you my driver's license? What? Yeah. I never would have guessed. Like, come on, you, you didn't get that hit when I told you my first movie I ever seen in theaters was Fox and the Hound. Yeah, dude. that's like the '80s, bro. I never. You look 26. Like I would have guessed 26? 26. Yeah, maybe oh. 27. Must be my Asian complexion. It is. It's got to be. I just thought of it, but my top, I think my Disney movie is The Great Mouse Detective. Ooh, that that's a remember. good one. Yeah. That is. My a girlfriend good one. hates that fucking movie. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she hates that movie, but I love it. Every time I talk about it, she she yells at me. Says, that movie's fucking stupid. <laughs> like, how's that movie fucking stupid? It's Sherlock Holmes as a mouse, right? You know, it's, that's why I it's love uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers because one's dressed as Magnum PI, the other one's dressed as Indiana Jones. Yeah, well, yeah. When I saw that that meme about it, yeah. it my mind like <laughs> blew up. <gasps> yeah, and they solve mysteries. <laughs> yeah. Another one that's underrated too is um the the rescues and the rescuers, rescuers down, down under. Down under? Yeah, oh man, that's another good amazing. one. Amazing. Ama I, is Road to El Dorado Disney? I don't think so. Because that movie's amazing. I think it's DreamWorks. I think you're right. I think it's DreamWorks. That's a really good DreamWorks I know good movie. movie. I heard it's good, but I haven't seen it. I'm sorry, I, but I really need to see it. Uh oh. Treasure Island. Ooh, Treasure or, Island is so good. Or Journey to Atlantis. That's another one I haven't seen. Eh, that one, yeah. left, that one left me. Really? Yeah, Shit. I don't know. It just it bored me. It bored you? Yeah, isn't that weird? I. They, when it came out, you know, McDonald's used to have, like, awesome toys. Uh -huh. And they had the girl's necklace. And yeah. I was like, oh, I just want the necklace. So I got the Happy Meal with it because uh -huh. it looked cool. But the movie, I don't know. It didn't do it for me. You didn't, you didn't go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was, I don't know. But, dude, I love Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet is so good. Mm -hmm. It's really, really, really good. What's your favorite ride at Disney World? Any park? <sighs> that I, you remember. Honestly, you the Jaws ride at Universal was one of my favorite rides and of all time. And it's gone now, too. And it's gone. That's gone. Um. Ooh, that's I a good I was there one. for the last day. Were you? Because uh, yeah, I was living in Orlando when it when they shut it down. Oh, uh, that's my f that's my favorite ride I've ever ridden of anything. Yeah. I just I loved it. But see, I, another ride I wish they they never took down was Back to the Future. Rides where you get eaten by the dinosaur and spit out. Yeah, and they that got rid great. of it. And they replaced it with with um, Simpsons, which is do fucking they, terrible. Do they still have King Kong? No, but they're bringing. They're bringing King Kong back with Kong Island that they're building an Isles Adventure. Really? Yeah. It's Godzilla going to be, gonna be on it? No, it's going to be Peter Jackson's King Kong. So oh, okay. So there'll be dinosaurs? Yeah. Gotcha. I remember- They already uh, have it already in LA. Do they really? Yeah. Have you been to Disneyland? No. I, I wish. Li I like Disneyland better. I've been to both. I didn't want to go because they had the Indiana Jones ride. It's so good. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Well, they opened the restaurant in D D Disney Springs. What? what? In yeah. The Indiana what? Jones restaurant. Yeah. Uh, that, that actually- I went to Disneyland first, and then I went to Disney World. I heard Disneyland. You want ten dollars? Oh, you want ten dollars? <laughs> Sandy just Rich got board. ten dollars. Shoot, this is the money we sold from selling energy. prints. I just witnessed a deal go down. Did you make yours? I'm sorry, I'm we're going sure off topic. <laughs> oh, what? No, I'm commentating. Are you commentating? <laughs> oh, what are you saying? I was like, I'm pretty sure a drug deal just went down between Sandy and Brian and Green. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're doing a drug deal. He said. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'll take a quote print. Oh, wait, hang on. Say hi, Sandy. Hi. Hey, Sandy, we're talking about Disney movies. What's your favorite Disney movie? This is Sand Muffin. That's a good question. Is it Snow White? Because you're, you're dressed like a zombie Snow White right now? You are now? dressed like a zombie Snow White. No. It's not? Why is Snow White going to be white? I'm not. 
That's not the point, bro. Why is Finn gotta be black? Aladdin? <laughs> <laughs> it could be a tie. Pick two. Uh, okay. Lion King, solid. Sandy says Lion King. Okay. I already did. Hunchback of Notre Dame, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's Hercules. Did you guys? Did you like Sleeping Beauty? It was all right. No. You're not a super <gasps> fan of anything. No, she's a super fan of makeup. I love makeup. As you can see by her face. You need to <laughs> be a guest for your own podcast so we can talk about that. Yeah, promote your makeup deals. She's so good at makeup. Stuff. You put it in the box. Can I fit in the box? What's in the box? Yeah, what's in the what's box? What's in the box? Oh, we're packing up because like, I think... What time is it? No. I guess you could say my favorite princess is Snow White. But your favorite mm. movie is not Snow White? I guess you could say that. I always like Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty was one of the top ones. Aurora. So Did you see the, the live action one with um, Angelina Jolie? That was awful. You think it was awful? Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it. I want to see it. Yeah. Did you like Maleficent? I like Cinderella. Here's here. Oh, I, <laughs> I no, thought Cinderella dude, was good. I heard Cinderella's great. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. I'm not like a super super fan, but I'm a big fan. Miyazaki movies. Oh like, yes. What's your favorite Miyazaki film? House Moving Castle. You know, I saw that for the first time a while ago. House You're welcome. Castle. They're welcome. <laughs> House Moving Castle, then um, Spirited Away. The same. Spirited Away is good. I think Spirited Away is my favorite. The old one with Nausicaa is really good. I've heard Ghost Everything of the Fireflies. Actually, you know, Princess Mononoke is my favorite. Ashitaka, it's my, it's my favorite. Me and my boyfriend are going to cosplay those two. Ooh. See, are you you said you want to do that for Dragon Are you going right? to make him a dragon? Are you going to make up him as Haku the dragon? No, I'm, you doing should. Haku. I'm, I'm doing him as Princess Mononoke and Ashitaka. Never mind. You're right. I'd mix the wires. Yeah, That'd yeah. be cool. All right. Okay. That'd be good, though. All right. My boyfriend, he's very mysterious. He likes his face covered. So he wants to do Ashitaka because he has that ninja. He does. And you only see his eyes. Yannick, what's your favorite Disney movie? Like in any kind of order or just all in general? If you have an all-time favorite, that one. Does if Pixar tied, count? Pixar counts, Pixar Does Pixar count? No, I wouldn't say Pixar counts. Okay, no Pixar. Um, I would say Pocahontas. Then you got Princess Pocahontas and the Frog. Pocahontas is good. Um, and I would say Snow White. Snow White, I was, to be honest, I was petrified by some of the imagery in Snow White. Just the darkness of it all sometimes. Yeah. And like just the the music and everything, but um, it's really hard to say which ones are my. You know what? No, let me repeat. Let me just take everything <laughs> Let's out. Let's completely forget all that. Com completely forget. What's everything. your favorite? My favorite would have to be um, Aladdin. It would have to be Aladdin. Aladdin. I could sit Good. there and watch Aladdin every day. Um, right behind that is Hercules. Hercules I love, is my favorite. I love favorite. me some Hercules. It's my favorite of all time. And I would just bring it back to Princess and the Frog, just because it was the. It was the um, the one film that Disney Animation broke their hiatus of drawing their Disney films. Right. So when they when that came out, it was like a breath of fresh air. Like, yeah, you know, I was like, it yes. had their old animation style, and it was great. Yeah, and and you, I really want to see what they're gonna do with you know after Princess and the Frog, because now they're just going back and letting okay Pixar here have fun with it. Right. And let's do 3D everything. Like you know, I actually like that old classic hand drawn stuff. I agree. I completely agree. So, Brian. Oh, sorry. What's on up? A, on a <laughs> photography vein, what do you shoot on? I started, when I first started, was a Canon T T3i. Nice. EOS. Nice. EOS. Now I shoot with, hold on, Amber. Hi. You, did you steal a She's dog? She's a puppy. Oh, my Is that from Tracy? God. Okay. Tracy wants a, a, a dog adoption, sir, like, oh. date to, to save dogs. It's a rescue thing what? to save dogs. I'm looking at the most adorable puppy ever. Can you bring him over here? I think it's one by one thing. I'm such a dog person and oh my It's one by one, God, right? You're one by one so cute. Yeah, one by one dog rescue. One by one dog What oh kind of puppy is that? Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so Look peaceful. He's falling asleep on my hands. Oh, oh my God. I oh, you watched the drunk on Disney it. thing last night? Yeah. What is it? I it's never, I never know what it is. There's comedy, there's drinks, and there's food, and we watch I'm like petting a puppy Disney right movies? Now. No. Oh my happen, god, like, he's so parents. adorable. This uh -huh. is horrible like, form you, like, for podcasting. It is so cute. 
There was a video of at Disneyland Paris where a bunch of the characters in suits before they got out, they were all humping Minnie Mouse, all taking turns humping her. What? Yeah, you never seen that video? No. It's fucking epic. Let me go bring her back. Oh, you perverts. Oh my god, you're so <laughs> cute. You ever seen the one where the kid um, kicked, I can't handle it. Um, hit Pluto in the nuts and he was chasing the kid around in circles? Oh, yeah. And then the, was it Tigger? Both and, uh, they're both dogs, <laughs> I think. No, no, Tigger's a, <laughs> Tigger, Tigger's a tiger. <laughs> yeah, no, it's totally off. Come on, man. Are you guys yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hi, Amber. Hi, uh, I'm Amber. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, we're at a console. Like, remember, people will be walking by and we end up being like, yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah. So, I totally lost track. Camera. Camera. Uh, I, I use a T5i now. T5i? Yeah, How do you like it? Keep it at Canon? Yeah, I'll do Canon, yes. Am I going to see you later on today? If you, are you doing a masquerade? You. She's just waving <laughs> by. She's just bye. Okay, bye. Bye, right, Sandy. Bye. Th that's Sam Muffin. She'll have her own episode in the future. Um, okay, so T5i. Uh, that's what I use now. You like uh, Canon? Oh, yeah, I love I'm Canon. a Canon guy myself. Yeah. I mean, I, I once my friend used, let me look at his Nikon. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I was like, it looks like, I, I don't know what's going on. Right. I can't read this it's Nikon thing. It's just a Canon that's complicated. <laughs> look, Nikon's complicated to me. Canon's perfect. Agreed. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. no. Nikon is yeah. a very complicated yeah. trying to be Canon. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. You give me it and I look at it. It looks like I'm looking at a foreign object. Agreed. Yeah. There's so much more symbols and buttons and like, what does this wheel even do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, what is that? And I was like, how do you, you know what? Here, take it back. Yeah, give me the cannon. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Star Wars now. Star Wars. I had to go back to Star Wars because the trailer came out recently. It did. Yes. Let's talk about it. You tell me first because I can dissect the hell out of this did thing. Did you see the one that a fan edited all three oh, yes, trailers I that did. came out and he merged it into one? Oh, yes, But I he did. did it in an order that you think the movie might go in order by? I did, the super edit. Yeah, yeah the super edit. And I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe it. Now, we were talking about earlier. The body that Ren's in front of, yep. you, you might think it's Chewbacca or... Chewbacca or Finn. Or Finn. I... I didn't know Finn was a hairy guy. I don't know. I know, right? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Like, Anthony Daniels, who plays 3PO, he's not on it either. I or, met that guy. I heard he's a dick. <laughs> yeah? I had to escort him. Really? But during Star Wars weekend when I was in security. Oh, tell me about it. I've heard only horror stories. I hear he's just, like, super he's, pompous. He's very... Um, What's the word I'm looking for that's, that won't be... Fu that, that like a dick? <laughs> <laughs> He's very... It has to go... It has to be his way. Okay. Very like, you know how every other meet and greet with a person, there's a line and you have to go up to him and talk? Yeah. His is very particular. The only way you get a picture with him, you have to buy a picture from him or a book. Uh, that's the way he did it when we did it. Lame. And the thing is, though, you know how in Star Wars Weekend, there's a meet and greet and, like... Ray Park or um, it's always Ray or Park. Warwick Davis are outside and they're under that the tent outside like near uh, Echo Echo yeah, yeah. Echo Pond or whatever. Yeah. Eddie Davis had to be he had to have his meet and greet inside an air conditioned room. Oh my god. Yeah, and the thing is because the, the big sale they were trying to do is oh he, this act this character here this actor has been in all six Star Wars movies. Right. And I go, Technically he wasn't in the first only in his voice because that thing was a fucking skeleton. It's dude I. I've only heard horror stories. Like, one of our guys in the 501st was at Celebration, yeah. and he said he took his helmet off for a second and set it on his table, and the dude's like, get that off my table. He's like, yeah, dude. He's very particular. Which sucks, because I love 3PO so much. Yeah, but then after that, dude, it changed my view of 3PO. I, I know, like, oh. right? It sucks. Yeah. Um, Mark Hamill's cool as shit, though. He has, I've met him at Celebration. Yeah, in, in Orlando, right? He's so freaking nice. They need nice. to bring that back to Orlando. They're supposedly going to, after this one. There's London next year, and then they're saying they're going to bring it back to Orlando after that. Wasn't it Tokyo recently? No, that was out. That was four or five years ago. That was four or five years ago? They do one here, one across, one here, one across. Yeah. So they did Orlando, Germany, yeah. Anaheim, London. They're supposed to come back to Orlando. All right. But you, you need to bring it back to Orlando. Uh, dude, I will. Oh, my God. You ever seen the one where they had Mark Hamill do, um, he read. Um, the speech from The Killing Joke. Where but he thinks in Batman's his Joker dead? voice? Oh, my God, dude. Dude, I love Mark Hamill. He's so freaking nice. He's Who so is cool. the coolest celebrity you've ever met? Coolest celebrity I ever met. Yep. Let's hear it. That's hard, dude. I know. <laughs> That's really hard. That's really hard. Cause I, I met um, Ming from um, Comic Book Man. No way. During Supercon, dude. Yeah. And I go, Ming. He looks at me and goes, what's up? I go, 
you're the fucking man. And he goes, no, you're the fucking man. And I go, I love you. Give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> you had a bro moment yeah. with Ming. Um, another cool actor I met was um, Spike. The guy who played Spike from Buffy. Oh, yeah? yeah uh, James Marsden? Yeah, James Marsden. Because yeah. um, I also recently saw him when I was watching um, Torch. Oh, fuck, Torchwood. Torchwood, okay. Yeah, and I was, um, it was at DragonCon like two years ago. And um, I, just, I, ha- I got to the Marriott early on the, the main floor, the main lobby floor. Yeah. And I was getting set up. I was waiting for my, the cosplay I was going to shoot. Okay. And there's James Marsden waiting in line to get Starbucks. Next what? To, next to the girl from Torchwood. I forgot her name. Really? Yeah. And I go, James, can I, I need a selfie. Please, dude. Oh. It's like, I love you. <laughs> from Buffy, and I fucking love you in Torchwood. Or, you know, you're the man. But the best actor I ever met was um John Barrowman. Oh, I've heard he's a blast. He's the fucking man. Yeah. Like, I would go gay for that guy. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I hear he's worth it. <laughs> John Barrowman? Huh? Right. Oh hell yeah, dude. You <laughs> he's Jar- already gay for you. Yeah, dude. When, when I first met John Barrowman, dude, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> John Barrowman. I've dude. heard he's great. Yeah. I've watched some of his panels. He's so funny mm-hmm. because like, he's like. He's gay, but he'll turn it to like super gay sometimes just to be funny. Oh yeah, he wore a dress <laughs> on Jagacon this year. Did he? Yeah, he was walking around with a dress on, and I was like, "Oh, that's fucking funny." Because <laughs> uh, I loved him as Jack Harkness, Captain Jack Harkness. Yeah. yeah. But then now, can I watch Arrow, dude? I love okay. him as um, the Dark Arrow. Or sweet, sweet. I forget, I forget, oh my god, I watched the show and I can't remember his name. <laughs> no, no, the character, the character he plays in Arrow. Um, ah, uh, shit. Nobody watches Arrow, Brian. How fucking <laughs> dare you, sir? <laughs> How fucking dare you? Like, I met um, the girl from the, the place Black Canary that is Resurrector. And, yeah? Um, yeah, they brought her back. Um, Katie Lott, she's cool as shit. Cool. She's cool. That's always good when they're cool. Yeah. Because when they're Ernie not, Hutz it is cool as shit, too. Yeah? Oh, really? Oh, go ahead. Um, yeah, this is to Amber. Uh, say hi, Amber. Hi. Oh, I don't, co- I don't really use that anymore. I need to change it. Okay. Uh, so it's to be A. Um, no, at a Supercon, I met Ernie Hudson, and I was wearing my tank girl. And my tank girl, I have a bikini top, and I have the targets on it. This nice. guy is just staring at my chest, like blatantly, obviously staring at my chest. <laughs> and then he looks at me, goes, sorry, I'm going to try to look you in the face now, not your chest. I just looked at him, and I go, I got really uncomfortable, and I got, like, nervous. I didn't know what to do. And I'm like, bye, Ernie Hudson. I just walked away. Oh, no. I, like, I didn't know what to do. And somebody's like, you should have got a free picture. And I'm like, I should have. Oh, that's but a good. But when, like... <laughs> Yeah, right. I should have, because like this is a great story. But at the time, I'm like, I don't know what to do because I'm so awkward. I'm like, ah. To be fair, your boobs were missiles at the time. They no, they weren't missiles. They were targets. Oh, that's that's even it's, more. Yeah, so. so it's even your eyes just go straight to. You just sort of. So I mean, I was kind of like, hey, like look at them, but it I was mean, there. <laughs> it was there. They were definitely there. It was a test, and he failed. <laughs> he did. But uh-huh. I just, I should have, like, took advantage and tried to get, get, like, a free picture. But I just, so awkward. I'm like, ah. I feel you. I have yeah. to beg people to come on a podcast so they'll talk to me. I would come talk. You should come grab me. Done. Well, th- why do you think you're all here? <laughs> we got three of us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bring more people. You get strangers on this. Hey, you, come be in the yeah, podcast. It, I did, um, do you know Nerd Bunny, Brittany? Who? I, Brittany, Nerd Bunny? Brittany. Yeah. She uh she was a guest at PalmCon. I went to PalmCon and she wasn't at her booth, so I just interviewed everyone around her booth. I was like, come here. So the 0.3D guys were on her episode. Some random guy that was looking at her booth. I was like, come here. We're gonna. T- What's your name? <laughs> but it's fun. That's funny. It's a good story. Yeah. Guess who? Guess who the coolest celebrity I've ever met is? Ooh, actually, guess who's tied with the coolest celebrity I've ever met is? <laughs> Nathan Fillion. Oh, fuck. I met man. Nathan Fillion, and I hung out with Alan Tudyk for like three hours. That's badass. We had dinner. I, I remember I, I remember Nathan best. Fillion was in Dallas Comic Con a couple years ago. That's where I went. That's where I met him. I went. You, you probably went the year after I did. I yeah. went, and he canceled. Oh. I drove all the way to Dallas to see him, oh. and he fucking canceled the day of. Yep, I went the year after because he kept telling everybody. He's like, I'm well, so sorry. They brought the Firefly group, but Gina Torres canceled the, like, the oh. day before that one. Because they were she, trying to do the... She is beautiful. They were trying to do the family reunion. That would be the family. The, fa- they, the Firefly reunion. They did yeah. it They did it the next year. They had all nine of them. Oh and then fuck. Inara and um, uh, Wash, actually, both of them canceled. That was everybody else. So I got to meet... Um, Inara's been busy. Monica... Uh, Bar- Marina Bachran. Yeah. She's in Deadpool. Yeah, and she's also in Gotham. And she's yeah. um, and she recently did... um. 
Homeland. She yeah, was the wife. She's dude, dude, she's working. Oh, yeah. Now, but but I, I miss Jewel straight. I, I, that's one oh, girl I want to meet. I met her. Oh, she fuck is, you, bro. <laughs> dude, okay. I know. I can't wait. I'm like, I'm afraid that I'm never going to get to meet her. She's, she's so, so, so nice. I was start. I don't get starstruck too, too often because I can usually kind of shut it down. I want to be Summer Glau, too. Oh, Summer Glau. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now, no. If you, if, if you go tell me, though, that she's a bitch, you're no, going to no, ruin no, it no, for no, me? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, Summer Glau. I have a girlfriend, and I'm glad she doesn't listen to the podcast for this right here. Okay. Summer Glau gives off an aura because she's so beautiful, you'll go stupid. <laughs> and I don't mean like, oh, she's really hot. No, no, no. There's something about Summer Glau. Because I, I got a photo op with her, right? So yeah. I walked in. I was like, hey, oh, just stupid. I just got really stupid. I tried to talk to her. It didn't work out. Just words. Beautiful. What's she so doing now? Nice. Now she is. She was, a, she was an arrow recently. Like, she, she had a baby. She does she was like cameos Arrow here and there. Recently. She did an episode of Big Bang and stuff like that. She did uh, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. I liked it. I don't know why no she one else did. Yeah. I, I've heard it's great. I know people that like it. Yeah, but you know why it was? You know what was the problem? What? It's on Fox. Oh, uh, seriously. Adam, I had dinner with him. He. <laughs> I heard women. I, I heard stuff about Adam's and Adam Baldwin's a dick. Is that true? Uh, or to women. Adam Baldwin. Yeah. He's he is nice. The pro- His political That's the thing that gets him because. Okay. He's just super conservative Republican. Oh, yeah, it's real is, bad. is it bad that I'm but Republican, but I want to vote for Bernie Sanders? I'm, dude, I'm totally for Bernie Sanders. But then, but then look at <laughs> look at your. Ca- <laughs> also, just look at your candidates. You got really nothing to choose from. That's the reason why I'm picking Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> but I think Adam, Bernie Sanders no, is better Adam than Adam Baldwin anybody. is really nice, especially to fans. He's a giant human being. I. I took a photo op with him, and I fit in his armpit. Like, he's real, he's massive. Oh, that reminds me, I just got the Serenity uh, plush from oh, ThinkGeek. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I got it from ThinkGeek. I want to buy the, uh, they have a Zippo lighter. That's got. Oh, that's uh, badass. It's, yeah, it's got the independent flag on one side, Serenity on the other. Oh, that's so cool. But he's great. Alan Tudyk is, Alan Tudyk and Nathan Fillion are my two favorite people I've ever met. Alan mm-hmm. Tudyk is hilarious. He's really, really funny. <laughs> he, we, we had, it was me and maybe 15 others. Mm-hmm. He was like, his con man did amazing, right? So what he did was, yeah, it's all done. The last few episodes aired Wednesday, but I backed it. It's no, on Vimeo. You could probably download it, can't you? Yes. I was a backer, so I got early codes. Uh, but it'll come out, I think, for you guys this Wednesday or something. Which reminds me of... Some of my photos are going to be in the Men vs. Cosplay calendar what? this year. Bump yeah. my fist. Hell yeah. And luckily, it's like daily one now, so I have more than like nine. In right? It. There yeah. you go. I submitted my. I said I submitted one of my photos of my Destiny costume, yeah. but I haven't heard shit. <laughs> I, as always, you, Everybody you, you like my photos I take, but not right? me. You know? You're no, like, I love you you're too. Like, I'm, a men, I'm a Men vs. Cosplay. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw that. that uh, cabbage, right? Yeah, I know. Cabbage one? No, okay, so here. But they don't tell you what day you're going to be, right? Fernando doesn't know this yet, all right? Mm-hmm. So don't tell him. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to listen to this episode. His, I submitted his photo, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's one of my favorites with the cabbage leaves falling and me screaming. It wasn't high res enough. They couldn't blow it up enough, so they're not going to use it. So, yeah. they're gonna, so I had so to I got submit distracted. A, <laughs> I had to submit a MIG, MIG yeah. Photography World. He's usually my photographer. He's really um, good. He's amazing. Dude, I saw his photos from DragonCon. Holy I lo- shit. Mig is one of my best friends. He's in the 501st, and that's how we met. And since mm. then, he's, he takes all my pictures. So because Fernando's wasn't uh, high def enough to be in the calendar, you use I Mig's? Sent Mig's. I was like, here, use these. And they're like, all right. So I'm waiting to hear back from that. Yeah, because yeah, they needed high def. Like, yeah, because like, we needed to blow up to X amount, and if it blurs, they won't use it. And no watermark either. Exactly. I am. Because they'll give you credit. But they on the said thing. they'll give you credit, so. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's for else, I say as long as you give me credit, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Absolutely. Yeah, it's an open. No, it's. So, whatever. how do you feel about um, if, uh, let's say, I'm selling prints and I use your photo? Do you want half of that money, or do you want a percent of that? Good certain, certain people do when when they certain photographers that I know, you you pay the rights, and then you. 
do you, like they give you the photo, but you um some certain photographers be like, they get a certain percentage on how much you make off the print. The way I do it is I give you one flat rate, I give you the photo, the rights to it, and that's it. That's, it, what, that's what Meg does as well. I, Absolutely. I do it. I do it one time thing because like Make, I don't want to be counting you. Like, Have you sold any fucking prints today? Right. You know. Make, nah. like, Issue of that. Right. And I was just because I was talking to um, another a cosplayer about that. So yeah, no, the way I the way it is like the way I charge you a simple flat rate for that right. rights, and then you pay it, and we find we I give you the form, we sign everything up. Yep. I give you the high res file of it, and then it's yours to print. That's that's and the same thing Meg does. That's why because I own a couple of mine. Yeah. I just buy it from him. Yeah. Because in the end, as long as my my watermark and I get credit for it, and I know it's everyone knows it's mine, then. Absolutely. That's I, I have the same thing. I was like, spread my photo ever. Just please send them back yeah. to me. It's not like uh, another photographer, uh, photo photo snicks, uh, Jace. Yeah. He sent me a, a link to. He sent me a screenshot of a of one of my photos on a website that they're selling it as a print. No way. Yeah, I looked at it. It is. He goes, "Is this yours?" And I was like, "Yeah, it's mine." <laughs> and I go, "How the?" F-? And I go, "What is this?" And he goes, "It's a website that you, they they use that to sell prints. That people people buy it, but they won't give you the print." Like they used that to take your money. Oh no! Yeah, I, I don't know what the website is. What? I don't know. That means you've made it. <laughs> I know. That right? means your stuff is so good. <laughs> yeah. When, when, when some when some like fishy website is using your photo to sell shit. That's right. Yeah. You got to be good. That means they want to buy. I agree. Uh, hey. But talk to Emma. I, I gotta go say hi to Stephanie real quick before yes. I forget. All right. Say hi, Amber. Hi, Amber. <laughs> Brian's super popular. Yeah, I know. So he knows. Never- was he here? Well, you weren't here yesterday. Was he here yesterday? Do you know? Um, I don't know. I wasn't here. Uh, I figured you wouldn't. <laughs> But, yeah, so Alan's great. Yes, Alan is great. Nathan's Ad- great. Adam is nice. Adam's Politically a little twisted, but he's super nice. Yeah. Everyone's cool. Yeah. Everyone on the, everyone on the cast. You know who I really want to meet? Who? Ron Glass. Like, I want to meet Same. the whole cast, but Ron Glass, I feel he's harder to get. Oh, yeah. I, I actually only need uh, two, maybe three more people than I've taken a picture with the whole crew. You, like, you're living my dream. I, I took, like, my firefly dream over I've here. I've taken a picture with... Everyone except for Ron Glass, mm-hmm. Marina Bakker, and and do you meet Gina? I did. I did. Took a bit. She's beautiful. Beautiful She's woman. Gorgeous. She's so nice. I want her to be Wonder Woman. I don't she, care. That'd be sweet. I don't care her color. I don't care her age. She's Wonder Woman. She's in Con Man. She makes a cameo. She's yeah. hilarious. She um, I have um. Actually, I, I think I have everyone except for Ron Glass and Marina Bakker. Now, because I got a picture with Jewel State and Sean Mar at once. Oh, that's awesome. And I gave them this little, I have these coins that are like uh, alliance money. Uh-huh. And I gave them each coin. Oh, that's and cute. And then I got, forgot everybody else, so only they got coins. I was like, I meant to give everyone one that I I just give them my tears because I get right. too excited. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I have, have some tears. Right. <laughs> just wipe them off and put oh, it on. Oh, no. If I, may, if I ever meet Nathan Fillion, I will be in a puddle. It's the I greatest will. moment of my life thus far. And I was so excited because they had a Wizard World down here. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, Nathan Fillion's going to be here. And he never signed on. Or somebody said he signed on cancel, but I don't think he ever signed on. No, I don't think he did. Yeah, because Not this, down here. This person's like, oh, yeah, they, he signed on and he canceled. And I'm like, no, I was checking, like, every week. He yeah. never. No. <laughs> Castle. Film the Castle. Castle. Are you, do you watch Castle? My mom does. I oh. need to start. It's because she, like, just started watching it from the middle. And I like to watch things from the beginning. Same. So. I've been watching from the beginning. I've seen a few episodes, but I haven't sat down and watched it yet. I recommend it. It's good. Yeah. I don't even like crime shows, but Nathan Fillion's so good in it. And there's a bunch of Firefly references in it. Yep, a ton. It's yeah. really funny. I've seen, like, the YouTube video of all the Firefly yeah, yeah. references. Greatest so. show ever. So, like, all of them, canceled. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. They're on season eight right now. Oh, wow. I've that's watched great. all of it. I get scared I'm never going to meet Nathan Fillion because he's so busy. and I don't so know. Popular. He makes time. He does a couple cons, just not I, on our side. I always ask um, Mike Roder. I'm like, when are you going to get Nathan Fillion for me? For real. For real. I always ask. That's like the dream. Maybe I'm fangirling over Maybe here. Yeah. I fangirl all the time. I know. Especially over Nathan Fillion. I know. I love it because we can just like when brown code coat right. and girl out together when i when i met nathan fillion i was dressed as him obviously mm-hmm. and when i walked in he's like and who are you dressed as oh and i was like oh so i've got like the biggest dumbest smile of my life in that picture with him 
I have only a picture with Adam. I couldn't at MegaCon. I couldn't figure out how the photo ops work, so I didn't get a picture with Alan. But I'm kind of glad I didn't because I woke up really late on Sunday yeah. when I was going to do the photo op, and I would have missed it, and I would have been out of money. But um, I have a photo op with Adam, and I look so stupid. I look like I'm <laughs> plotting his murder. Like, I didn't know how to pose for photos at the time, so I'm just like, Mer. like I'm going to plot his murder, and <laughs> I hate the photo so much. I'm dressed in my Kaylee, and it's just... No. Looks bad. <laughs> But it's on my wall. It's there you go. Uh, you met Jane, right? That's cool. Yeah, I met Jane. So. <laughs> That's what matters. You've, you you were within grabbing distance of the hero of Canton. Yes. So the that's they awesome. Jane, yes. I had, we had the dinner with Alan Tudyk on Friday. I need to get your cell phone uh, number because yeah. <laughs> when you're at cons and you're meeting all these Firefly people, you need to text me. Like, you need to be at this address right, right now. So right. Or I'll, I'll message you on Facebook that's, later. That's actually kind of how it went. I um, You know, PJ Harzma, who did Con Man, he was a producer. Uh-huh. Well, I followed him on Hang With, which is like essentially the original Periscope. Okay. And he'd be like, oh, hey, blah, blah, blah. We're, we're going to be at Megacon because they filmed the scene at Megacon, oh, like okay. a crowd scene. It's like, all right, well, I know what he looks like. And I ran into him. He was just walking around with his wife on the floor. I was like, I know who you are. You're PJ Harzma. And he took a picture with me, and I took a picture with him, and it was great. I was like, hey, dude, congrats on Con Man. Because, you know, their goal was like 650 k They raised $3 million. Mm -hmm. so it's like, whoa. He goes, yeah, we're throwing a thing tonight at Miller Ale House. He's a, there's going to be reserved seating for maybe 20 people. First 20 to get there. Just hang out. We'll have cake and whatever. I was like, all right, yeah, just let me know. He goes, all right, around 7, watch Alan's Twitter. Yeah, all right, so I put him on text alert. I was at Megacon. Yeah. 7 rolls around. He tweets, hey, I'm at the Miller's Ale House a mile down the road. Be I so would I, run. Sprints. That's exactly what I did. And me and my friend got, there were five seats left when we got there. And we had the last two. I would have camped out. Like, it if he told me about I would have been, like, waiting at the Ale House just. So, and I don't even like Ale House. Right. Like, it, my boyfriend always wants to go to Ale House, and I'm like, no, let's let's go somewhere else. It was but, amazing. Yeah. He's so nice. And he, like, went to every single person. Hi, thanks for coming. Hi, thanks for coming. I really, like, and then what he would do, which, I mean, he's an awesome, awesome dude. Mm -hmm. He would stop and make conversation with everyone. Just like, oh, hey, how's it going, blah, blah. And then move to the next person. Hey, you doing okay? Thanks for coming. Like, every single person made conversation. That's so awesome. So I was just like, how you doing, man? He's like, oh, I'm doing all right. I was like, these cons are getting, they're pretty difficult. He yeah. goes, yeah, they're kind of, I was like, wait for tomorrow. He's like, is it going to be bad? I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be real bad. I be waited, bad. like, 30 minutes to get his autograph, which wasn't That's that not bad. bad. I waited six hours for Nathan Fillion's. I would, oh, my God. I don't know what I would do for six hours. My phone you would. You sit and you talk to other brown coats. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love okay, nice celebrities that right. are, like, super down to earth. Those are the, he, those the, best. Are the best type of people. The best. Like, he, I met um, Dana Snyder for the first time this weekend. Oh, Master and, Shake? Oh, my gosh, yes. And he is just the biggest sweetheart ever. Yeah? I went to the Drunk on Disney, and he's so nice. And he, like, came up to us, and he's like, oh, thanks for coming, and, like, telling us how everything works. And he was just so nice. And me and my boyfriend were like, he is the sweetest. We're, like, freaking <laughs> out. We're like, he's so sweet. That's so awesome. I love sweet celebrities. Like, I just think... You know, fame gets to people sometimes, and it's great when absolutely they are still down to earth. That's why I think conventions are so good because it keeps people like level-headed. Absolutely, know? I I I remember because we we did the party. I had a photo op with him on Sunday, mm -hmm. and I told him I was like, "Hey, listen, I'm getting a picture with you on Sunday," because we got. I mean, I got a picture with him on my phone of us just hanging out at the restaurant. Yeah. But I was like, on Sunday, I'll see you at the photo op. He's like, "All right." On Sunday, when I came, I was like, "Hey!" And then he told the photographer, "He's like, we had cake." We had cake. I was like. Remember. Yeah, we had cake. You know, all Friday night, all Saturday, who knows how many autographs photo ops he did. Sunday rolls around, and he still remembered me. Like, yeah. that that means a lot. And you met Jewel, right? I yeah, did. Yeah, you met everyone almost. I but, did. Um, Jewel, I, I got starstruck. I follow her, like, religiously on Instagram. Like, She's I always see her best. posts. I always stop and read them. And I know she was doing the, I think it was Water Charity, the yeah. shirt. And she made a post. She's like, if you buy this shirt and you see me at a convention, I'll sign it for you no matter what the convention rules are. What? Like, I'll sign it for you for free. So I just I love. Did you get one? Sweet. No, I didn't. I wanted I wanted to get one of the Nathan Fillion like. I the, got the Nathan Fillion. The I shoot first. I never got around to it. I'm so ba like I'm bad with online shopping because once I start I get into many little like right. bad what habits of doing it for a while. Like oh, yeah. I downloaded the Amazon app onto my phone. Worst decision I've ever made. I keep <laughs> buying stuff I don't need. <laughs> so. I hear you. Yeah. I, hear you. I got the shirt. So I don't want to, like, I, I try not to buy things online unless I absolutely need it. So, right. Or I that's, get into little habits. That's good self-control you have that Thank I don't. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. Well, I, I pretend that I'm poor half the time, so I have money. Because if not, I would have no money. That's smart. I don't have any money. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got to tell yourself that. So you I don't tell myself, it. okay, I pretend I have like a hundred dollars. I'm like, oh, I can't do this. I only have a hundred dollars, and I have like more than that. So. Right. Smart. Yeah. Smart financially. Yeah. Who's the coolest celebrity you've met? Hmm. This is a really weird one. Yeah. When I was really little, I met Donny Osmond. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, it was when he was doing the Pyramid Show. Interesting. Yeah, he was at, like, a mall, and we met him, and he was just super cool. And, like, I invited him over to my house for, like, spaghetti or something. And then he got my mom into the auditions for the Pyramid thing. What? Yeah, it was, like, this whole big event they were having. And I know that's so weird, and I know that's, like, not comic book or comic con or anything like that related. That's even better. But it's just so random, I think. What? That was probably one of the coolest celebrities I've ever met. That is fantastic. Yeah, I That's another thing. I wish I met celebrities like in real life, you yeah. know, as opposed to at a con. Because con's cool, but it's way cooler as people as opposed to as celebrities. I mean, it was like they were having an event at the mall for the pyramid, and they're having auditions. And it was like I was little at the time. And when you're little, you're cute, and you get attention from other people. Sure. So it was just one of those we happened to be there, and by chance, that's. That's so, awesome. So, yeah, um, I haven't really met a lot of celebrities. Yeah. So, because I always feel bad going up to them and be like, hey, I don't want an autograph, but I love you. Like, because I, I fi um, financially autographs, they do get really expensive. Yes, they do. So, I try to save it for the people that I, I need. Yeah, yeah. Need. So, I met Paige O'Hara, the voice of Belle. Sweet. Yeah, I have her autograph. She was really sweet. That's I actually cool. know someone. Um, older woman that went to high school with her so i had to go back and be like oh this person says hi from like forever ago that's awesome yeah it was fun i made friends with the yellow power ranger karen uh -huh. ashley she she pulled me over to her table at supercon with my cabbages and we took a picture mm -hmm. and i went over her today she's like you're that cabbage guy so i was like we're like friends oh man that's awesome um it was cool. Music celebrities. Those are. I used to be really into music. Like it's really weird. Used to be really into music from Minnesota when I was like in middle school. Yeah. And there's this one guy named Goot, and he does a lot of YouTube covers huh. of like famous songs. He's really talented, and he used to have his aim on um, his aim on his MySpace. This yeah. Shows how long ago this was. <laughs> and I would just always instant message him. And he's on my Facebook to this day. Like we're kind of friends. Uh. And I used to talk to um, Adam Young from Owl City. Oh yeah. Back in the MySpace days when he had like a thousand likes on MySpace. MySpace no, it does. Mm -hmm. I, I think it does, but nobody uses it. That's so. awesome. I'm back though. Hold on. Oh, Brian's it? back. Good. Oh, What's up? Brian, I've been meaning to ask you. What do you edit on? Photoshop. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, people tell me like Lightroom's good too, but I don't. I did have. You, did you take a class in Photoshop? You figured it out. Oh no, YouTube. Internet. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. Seriously. But some of you talk about that do take classes. I mean, why? Right, yeah. <laughs> I guess as I have a degree, it looks good. I mean, I think I should do that too because I need a degree. <laughs> 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 but, uh, I mean, for YouTube. Yeah. I mean, I think I should take some classes so I could probably open my mind more to new shit that I need to do because, I mean, my photos are good, but I think I can make it better by taking classes. Oh, yeah, you can always make it better. I try to do the photo in a way that fits the character that they're cosplaying. That's For, right. Like, especially if it's like an action one. Right. It has... Action. Yeah. But especially for like, if I'm going to do a composite of it, I, I, I need, like, if I just do like, if the person's like, it's kind of stupid, I was going to show you, but what's the point of showing you if, we, if people have to use their imagination to do what I'm doing. Right. But if the picture and the character, like, the rule of thumb is in photography that I've, learn from like watching tutorials is the subject has to be in the middle no matter right. what the center thing but we're not talking about regular photography we're talking about cosplay there's a they're, they're doing a character for a reason right and if you're doing a composite it has to fit because how am i going to do a composite with a background a scene if all you see is the character but there's no true you got to have room for them yeah to composite like when, when i do mine like when i first started before composites i used to do a lot of splash style art okay which is like the character is on the left and there's a lot of space on the right. Or the person uh, on the right, a lot of space on the left. I mean, sometimes it looks really cool, though, if you have, like, a cool background. Yeah. It, it, it helps the scene more because it, sh it gives it more a dramatic touch to me. Sure. Um, and it, it, but, like, cause I know in photography, like, the, the subject has to be the middle because it's the, the subject. It has, it's the focus. It's the focus. Sure. I mean, but 
why not change it up? Break the rules. I mean, it doesn't hurt to do something different. But yeah, what, um, shots. I mean, what is a tip you would give someone who wants to get into it? So I was like, I want to do cosplay photography. cosplay photography. Besides the Shia LaBeouf, just do it. Just do it. Just pretty much just do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just, just start but, taking pictures. But do it, in do it. But be prepared to hear critics. I mean, you are gonna get a, people are gonna give their opinion about it. Right. You are gonna get people that don't like the photos. I mean, I run into some. Believe it. I mean, I. I don't think my photos are. I mean, I think my photos are good, but you know, I, I do whatever I can to make the cosplayer happy. Sure. If you don't like a photo, and I show you right after the shoot, I'll show you the photo. If you don't like it, I'll delete it. Right. Right. I mean, because in the end, yeah. I mean, in the end, I the photos you pick is what you pick. It's what you want. Right. I mean, I do it. I do it because I want. I want. I didn't get into this because of me. I mean, I love it, but I got into it because. You I wanted like to, to contribute to the community. Yeah, that's cool. It, yeah, in the, cool. in the end, it's like if you're not happy with your photo, then I'll do whatever I can to fix it. And if you don't like it, then you know I did I did whatever I could. Sure. In the end, it's failed. Like I did a I did a bleach shoot, um, and I shot a no, and I worked three hours in the composite, and she hated it. Oh. And I did it three different versions of it. And it was, she wasn't happy with it, so you know. In the end, I, there's nothing I can do if you're not happy with it. So I just gave up on the photo. In, in respect to her, because she doesn't like it, I, I, I can't post it. So sure. I'm not, I'm not posting it to anyone. That's cool, though. So in that vein, what is your favorite shot you've taken? The favorite shot I've ever taken, yeah. like. Or if you got a couple. Which sucks because I like, like one, but then down the road I'm gonna shoot another one and. It's sure. Gonna, yeah. And so it, currently. It, it, currently. Um, it's like asking a cosplayer what their favorite cosplay is. Well, wait till I do your Imperial Officer one. Oh, I can't wait. I had that planned out for like months in my I mind. I remember. Already. You're like, we need to shoot. I was like, I get to shoot with Bradley and Imagery? Yeah. Dude, because <laughs> I legit, I've been so pumped to work with you, you have no idea. Because <laughs> I, lo I, I, I love your stuff, and I was like, I need to do it. That's why, like, there are certain photographers that, like, I, I put, like, Oh, I really want to work with them one day, but I need to step my game up first. So then when they take pictures, no, it looks good. See, that's another thing too, man. Like, some cosplayers tell me they're they don't think they're good enough for me to shoot them. That'd be me, as of shut like shut the fuck up, before, bro. I, that's what I've honestly. <laughs> no, man. I was like, oh, there's gonna be something wrong, and their pictures are so good. You'll see what something wrong is even better. Uh, but that's and, my own personal and, insecurities. And, and another thing that blows people's mind too is when I show them the photo. Because I heard a lot of photographers don't do that. They don't show you the photo. Yeah, like the they'll just shoot and then. All right, yeah, good. I mean. Right, I shoot weddings now, you know that, right? Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, Beautiful. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so, I mean, I it's from, I do this because I support cosplay. Like I said, right. I know I sound like a fucking recorder to keep playing this, but <laughs> in the end, it's it's for you guys. I mean, but it got to a point, I mean, that's another it's charging. Right. I used to do it for free. I did it for free in the beginning because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, and I charged the way... My, I, how I feel my work is. Right. And I charged from the beginning. When I, when I didn't charge, I was doing it for it to build my portfolio. Sure. When I got past that point, I moved up to started charging 20 bucks. Gotcha. That's not bad. Yeah. But now I charge 40 now at this point where right. I am now. And I, <laughs> <laughs> but for composites, the thing with composites is um, the way I work, I know I'm probably going to hear shit. Um, <laughs> I charge you a rate for. For, we're at a con. I'll charge you for 10 photos of you choosing. We'll take as many as you want. You pick the 10. Right. And that's it. You, you paid. And that's what you paid for. You pay for 10 shots. And I'll, I'll edit it, color it, all that stuff. But for composites, if you want a composite photo, that's a separate pay for each photo. Well, sure, because that's a lot of work you're putting into the photo. Yeah, plus with like real life world, like my life <laughs> right, yeah. and my girlfriend. Who, sure. Please, I'm, no, please forgive me, but I, I always neglect because I'm either doing sh photos or work or playing Destiny, but it's probably going to change once Halo comes out. Huh? Did you ever get jealous that like, you're shooting like, all these girls? No. no? I Not that I know that's of. That's a, good qu that's a good question. Yeah. Well, I, I want her... Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. I, but yeah, but I would never... You know, yeah. I'm not that type of person to do that. I mean, I don't know a lot of guys will say that, but you right, know, well. it's like... I mean, th th that's the issue about being a photographer too, especially in cosplay. I mean, yeah, because some is another a thing too that not I heard a lot not not that many photographers who shoot guys. It's you, true, isn't that weird? I don't know why. 
I didn't mean either. I'm a dude. Because guys like those photographers want to get those girls. You actually, know, that's why. actually, that does make sense. That's but, like we've talked about. Uh, I, I've talked to some people about prints. Like some girls can make a living off of prints. Absolutely. Uh-huh. And dudes forget about it. Uh-huh. I opened a print store a year ago because everyone on my page was like, do it, do it. I was like, I don't want pictures of myself. I don't care. And I like, just do it. So I did. I haven't sold a single print since I opened the store. But then I thought, but then I thought about like, I don't want pictures of me on the wall. I would want a girl with boobs on the wall, plain and simple. They're way more fun to look yeah, at. I'm a girl, I'm a straight girl, and I would want girl, pictures of girls with boobs on the wall. I have pictures. I have a picture of Alexia and her Felicia on my wall. And I, yeah, it's just. I oh. like boobs. I'm straight, but I'm Well, just, the funny thing I is like that I used to have cosplay chicks on my wall. Right. When I first started and all this stuff. But now that I have a girlfriend for two years, yeah, he's probably that not. shit ain't on the wall no more. I hear it. <laughs> I hear it. All I have now is art. But the problem is I buy all this art from cons. You know where they are? In a fucking corner of my room because I haven't put it up yet because I'm too lazy to <laughs> even touch that. I have not been at my booth. Yeah, you're probably wonder where you are. I probably thought I died. Go, go. I actually might leave because we're going to help out. But if you live in the Broward County area, can I do a shameless promotion? Of course. If you live in the Broward County area, you should check out the comic book store, Docking Bay 94. We're located in Coconut Creek. We are the best. Yeah, that is a Star Wars reference. It Ryan's is. Ryan's face just got really excited. It so is. check us out. I'm going to go back. It was fun. Bye. I'm Thanks for coming on. Like yeah. Bye, Amber. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's see. Good episode, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. We're We're everywhere. Right. I know. Even <laughs> though I left like 10 minutes. Yeah. But, um, It'll be the Brian Plus episode. Yeah, but photography. It's I love doing it. I, You're I mean, very good at it. Thank you, sir. I know I'm a legit fan of your work, and I have been for a very long time. Yeah, I'm also surprised that people came up to the table and they were like, "Oh, I follow you on Instagram. I love your work." Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, dude, "I didn't know that people actually do follow the work." I follow you everywhere. When you're like, "I want to do an imperial shoot," I was like, "Oh, oh dude, like, <laughs> like, like, you know what this means?" I want to do more Star Wars. I'm I want to do stormtroopers, like that. I'm building a stormtrooper this Christmas. What? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. See, I want to do that. I'm building a clone trooper right I now. I want to have a stormtrooper costume, but I'm too short and fat, so I, I know don't know that's gonna work. Dude, I know those. Huh? A Novos. Really? Yeah, get in a Novos kit. It's like six fifty for everything. Oh, so many, dude. Dude. But, and um, it comes with a completed helmet. You don't even have to build the helmet. Really? Yeah. Oh, damn. But um, dude, photography, dude, I, I love doing it. Like, I'm happy when I do it. Like, It's like one of the things that I think, and it's funny because I didn't see myself doing this three years ago. Right, right. And then it's when cool. I, it's oh, very yeah. cool. And now that I do it now, it's... I'll probably use yours for um, the 501st. We do trading cards mm-hmm. for kids. Yeah, I've seen it. Like to get our kids? Yeah. I'll probably use one of your pictures for yeah, trading cards. I mean, but I'm happy when I do it. It's you know, cool. It's, it's it's very cool. One of my it's things. And then, man, I love cons. I mean, I love going. I don't go to cons for panels. I don't go to Me neither. cons for stuff. If I if I do, I'll probably buy it, you know. Right, right, right. But I, I go for the cosplayers. That's, that's what I do. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm... I don't know because like I'm getting older. I mean, <laughs> I know I started late, or <laughs> late as fuck. <laughs> and um, I just gotta do it while it lasts, you know. Absolutely. If you're passionate about something, run with it. Oh yeah. Let's Speaking of photographers. Speaking of photographers. Someone coming up. Oh. Diego. Diego, <laughs> come over here for a second, man. Yeah, walk your tall ass over here. Because <laughs> we got about we got 20 minutes before they tell us to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> How long have we been recording? <laughs> I don't know. What does it say? An hour 17. How long your episodes are? <laughs> An hour. <laughs> oh, shit. We're going over. Special bonus. <laughs> yeah, it'll be an um, extra long episode. <laughs> say hi to Diego and also give your photography name. Oh. Hello, everyone. My name is Diego. Uh, my photographer handle will be Japan Minute. Uh, awesome. However you want to take that. <laughs> right. uh, the grain of rice out of the grain of salt. Uh. Yeah, well, okay. yeah cause, um, we're talking about cosmic photography. Oh. Yes. Well, I really appreciate you putting me on the spot like this. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, am I like accepting an award or something? I don't know what's going on. What's going no, on? No, we're just talking about how we got into it, what we like, our favorite shots, oh. stuff like that. Oh, by the way, Japan Men is one of the good, best photographers in the area, man. He's really good at what he does. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, you. <laughs> My shit sucks compared to his shit. <laughs> oh. It's, it, trust me, it's not. He, he's, he's like overplaying it like. Like, by, <laughs> by a mile. But, uh, Diego, how long have you been doing it for, though? Um, like, officially, I've been doing photographs for maybe, like, four or five years. Yeah, four and a half years now. Nice. I've been going to conventions since, like, 2008, and I started shooting when I was uh, um, just finishing college. It was around 2010. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. So I just got into it, and I was just like, hey, actually, you know what? What happened was 
uh, I was into I was into video at the time and video production. Right. So I was just like, man, how do I make this look better? And then you know, one thing led to another, and I was just like, you know what? I, I, I got to get a DSLR because that's what everyone's doing. And at the time, DSLR yeah, yeah. Uh, video was a thing, right? Absolutely. So, so uh, you know, like I said, one thing led to another. I was just like, man, maybe I should just take pictures. Yeah, I'll just take pictures. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much how I kicked off. And uh, four years later, here I am. That's awesome. What do you shoot on? What do I shoot? Oh, everyone gives me so much crap about shooting on a Sony, but <laughs> I shoot with a Sony A99. That is a massive setup you have. It makes you rare because I'm about to shoot that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so funny? Like, everyone that shoots Canon and, and Nikon, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm a Canonist or I'm a Nikonist and this, this, and that. And, and my, my specs are better than yours. But like, you, you don't really realize, but there's a lot of components that are Sony based that are in your Nikon and your Canon cameras. Oh, what but say you, Brian? Check it out. <laughs> as soon as they start using my, my Sony camera, they're like, hey, wait a second, this is cheating because it's so easy. It's a it's a it's an SLT, there's no moving parts in it. And then like if you once before you take a picture, you could actually see what the exposure is gonna be like. So that's this is why I love it. That's pretty great. Have you always shot on Sony's? Yeah, this is, Sony's the only thing I've ever shot on. Uh, before Sweet. I had the A99, I actually did have a, a DSLR, which was the the A23. That was a, that had a reflex lens in it. So yeah, that's so, so it's like having a PlayStation 4 in your hand, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like an auto shotgun for me. This is like it does all the work for me. Oh, but no, but Lily, my favorite photo that you've done, it's the, um, um, it's the one with um, what's your name? Katie? Katie? Which, oh. The, what anime was that? Oh, <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Yeah, Katie, no, Katie, Katie, Co no. Katie Noel cosplay. Yeah. yeah uh, I know who you're talking about. I forgot the anime, though. It's the, the one where they... Um, dude, Hunter x Hunter. God, fuck me, dude. Come yeah. On. <laughs> dude, I love that shot of how you edited it. Oh, man. You, it was actually... Uh, it was a... It was sort of like a... a it was like a spur-of-the-moment thing. I met up with Katie and, at Megacon... Sorry. And she was just like, I want to do a shoot with you. I was like, okay, yeah, what do you want to do? I'm like, and she's like, oh, I want you to shoot my cosplay. I didn't know what Hunter x Hunter was at the time. And actually, I still don't know what Hunter x Hunter is <laughs> <laughs> until now. She's like, go watch it. Okay, but lazy me, never happens. So anyway, <laughs> at Megacon, she was just like, okay, uh, we were looking through some reference photos and, and stuff to do. And she was like, um, the cosplay was, uh, Zol um, what's his name? Something, uh, Zol... Zold, Zoldic? It's the assassin, I think, you, you shot. Yeah, it shoots lightning. Yeah. That's, all I, that's all I know. So, so what I had her do was uh, I had her lay down on the floor, and I, put, I laid out like a, like a, like a, a mat, like a mat. Um, it was basically like a mat mat, like a oh. one-colored gray mat on the floor. So that way it would be easier for me to edit her out. And into the into the shot, what I what I wanted to do was like a shot of her sort of in the air throwing a lightning bolt. But what I had her do was just like stand on one ass cheek, like <laughs> lean over, <laughs> do the pose, and it actually came out pretty cool because I was able to hide her like like her butt cheek from, from the shot. <laughs> oh, dude, that, that shot came out amazing, and I, I fucking dude, I, I saw that shot, and I was like, I was like, that looks good, it dude. Was so simple too, because all it was is just it's just her against the. Uh, a black background with uh, with light rays going this way and that. It was, it was actually pretty simple. I didn't think it was gonna. I wanted what I wanted to do was submit it for for MetroCon, but oh, this the, was like a week. The photography uh, contest. Yeah, the photography contest. I found out that sh I found out about that shit last minute. And I didn't touch it in because I didn't. I didn't know. But the, you know what's funny? None of the photographers I submitted or anybody, no one knows who judged it. Oh really? It. No, no, I don't know. No. No, no one knows because you, everyone said they turned their photos in. And then they just named you. The, they they gave the the not the, uh, the winners. Yeah. They announced the winners at the con. But who judged it? There was no like ceremony. No. I didn't go to the ceremony. Uh, I, I didn't no, go like, either. Thing. I was only at Metrocon for like two hours and I left, dude. Because I was like a waste of my life. Going it was the Phantom judges. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think someone got the email and they're like, yeah, right, hey, yeah. which one looks the best here? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks. I like the blue. Because <laughs> yeah, like, I was asked if I should submit mine for because. For the composite category, yeah. but I, I heard about it like literally the last minute. Yeah, and same. I, I missed the deadline. I was like, yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. But then, yeah. but then the question is, if I had chance, which one do I submit? Like you said, which one's my favorite photo? Good point. I don't know. Right. I have a lot. It's like, 
I, there's going to always give me that one photo that I'll be like, yeah. yeah. But then you're gonna make, you're gonna end up taking that other photo that will. True. It's gonna, it. it's gonna be my admiral. It's gonna be. It's, yeah. it's hard, man. It's. I'm definitely gonna submit the, into the contest in, uh, next year. Hey, no one. For sure. For sure. Do it, bro. Do it. No, actually, you can't because you have, you have to be shot like a year prior to. Because I was reading, I was online and I was reading through the thing, and it said it has to be at least a year prior. It can't be can't be the year before. So everything that I have in my backlog is just like out of the, out of the <sighs> backlogs, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, that's another. That's another. That's, that's a. Another, that's, that's another, another issue. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, photography. Photography. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Cosplayers need it. <laughs> yeah, but see, you don't charge, right? No. Uh, see, for me, it's more of a of a hobby thing. And right now, I I'm fo I'm more focused on my on my day job than I am on like editing photos and stuff. So to me, I don't think it would be fair to charge actual you know. Uh, costumers or cosplayers for for shoots or for edits because I know I'm not I don't have I'm not dedicating all of my effort all of my energy into it you know what I mean so it, it just it, it it wouldn't come out right but you know what I'm trying to do is it uh, develop myself to a point where I can at least charge some at least to cover the costs of of uh, you know wear and tear on my camera and like you know, uh, maintaining my equipment and maintaining maintaining my presence online, pretty much. Uh, you want to close out now because we got about yeah, so you know, can't, can't tell oh. us to fuck off. Uh oh. You heard him, fellas. <laughs> well, yes. So that's been a super long, awesome, packed <laughs> con special. Con special. With everyone I walked by I was like, get over here. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this You're will just be. Like grabbing everyone Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Hey you. <laughs> no, liter yeah, literally. Yeah, literally. Literally. Come here. <laughs> like four booths over. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah. So this hey, is. We, uh, to say to you. we need them to say it into the microphone. That's yeah. right. <laughs> it's the animate special. <laughs> Brian imagery. Yeah. Thanks, so, man. <laughs> where can people find you online? Uh, you can find me at uh, Facebook at facebook.com/slash Brian imagery. Okay. Or my Instagram is Brian imagery. Nice. And my nice. Twitter is Brian imagery. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Which is B R I L A N. I M A G E R Y. I dig it. Good. I dig it. I'm Jedi Brian on literally yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, thank you again, Diego, for giving your input. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, anytime. Yes, you know. where can people find you? Oh, oh, they can find me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Japan Minute uh, or Instagram. <laughs> Actually, my Instagram is super neglected, but it's Instagram.com slash uh, Japan Minute. Actually, just follow my, my actual Instagram, Diego Montegas. There we there go. Sweet. But thanks again, Brian. That man. does Had it. Fun, man. Yeah, thanks for coming on. We'll have to have it again. Yeah, hopefully we do it before Star Wars or after Star Wars. We can talk about it. Dude, I don't have time on that memory card to <laughs> talk about Star Wars. <laughs> but no, we'll right. definitely do it. All right, man. All right, sweet. sweet. And